Thanks. First on the markets, does the president think it's a big deal that today the Dow Jones is down uh, at one point more than 1,100 points? Well, to start with, uh, we focus on the trends in the economy, not any one day and any single indicator. Unlike his predecessor, the president does not look at the stock market as a means by which to judge the economy. I would note uh, that the market is up around 15 percent compared to when President Biden took office. Uh, but our measure of success is really how real working families are doing, whether they are, have a little breathing room, whether they have a job that delivers some dignity and a paycheck that can support, they can support a family on. And we've seen a great deal of progress made on that front. I, I recognize that the White House has said that they have, you know, very severe sanctions that are prepared if Russia invades. Is there any thought to enacting sanctions before Russia invades as a form of deterrence, or is, is that under consideration? Well, we did announce a couple of sanctions, sets of sanctions from the Treasury Department last week uh, in response to their, uh, the involvement of a few individuals. We've also plussed up uh, our security assistance packages that we've been delivering to the Ukrainians, including recent deliveries over the last couple of days. And obviously, as we were talking about earlier in this briefing, there's been discussions about how we can uh, support the security of eastern flank countries. But also, we are mindful of what we think is the most effective deterrent and the severe economic sanctions package, something that would be uh, go far beyond what was done and what was on the table in 2014, including uh, the consideration of imposing unprecedented export control uh, measures that would hit hard at President Putin's ambitions are part of the discussion and our assessment is that is most effective as, uh, as a uh, deterrent tool and not as one we would do in advance. Okay, so you're saying the threat of the sanctions is the most effective deterrent tool? Correct. Correct. A question, just to follow up, I, I know that, you know, you were asked about Americans who are now in Ukraine, mm -hmm. and I know you said that th there is no precedent, you know, outside of Afghanistan for evacuations in case if there was, like, some type of military encouragement by the Russians. So I, I just want to be clear, if Americans are still in Ukraine and things start happening with Russia, are they pretty much on their own? Well, we are conveying very clearly now that now is the time to leave and that there are means to do that. Of course, there's commercial airlines. You can depart over land. There's obviously the embassy there to provide assistance. And this is very similar to what we did in Ethiopia, Kazakhstan, and many other countries over the course of the last several decades. Uh, but there is not an intention or a plan for any military evacuation.